hi guys welcome to my channel my name is evelyn i'm a berlin based nigerian youtuber if you're new here welcome if you are a current subscriber welcome welcome to everyone thank you for tuning in with us today morning afternoon or evening whatever the time is at your side right now please remember to click the subscribe button if you are yet to do so and give the video a thumbs up if you like it so as to help the growth of the video yeah so this is a much requested video most of the videos i do here are actually much requested so i'm um, i try to listen to you guys a lot of people usually ask how to get a job here in germany actually after studying and all that and so i invited the expert is the expert here i did the part one of the of this video which i'll link below and put somewhere on the screen above here where i did um a video about how to get a job in, in germany but i decided to invite the expert so that he can talk about it from experience so if you'd like to continue watching stay tuned Welcome to yeah. our channel one more time. Thank you, thank you. We thank hope to see more of you. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. You know, I got it. I got the request. Oh, you want me to be around? I guess the idea. Yeah. No. So um, <laughs> when you guys, you said something just now. You said experience. I remember there was one Yoruba movie we saw on YouTube. What is it? Experience. Experience. <laughs> yeah. So I think um, basically, I think the job in Germany is um, apart from the visa process, which interestingly became. From Nigeria became um, at least if you are applying from Nigeria, if you're Nigerian watching this and you're in Nigeria, and you want to get a job in Germany. The visa pro the visa process can be quite interesting, but um, that's something you have to live with. Can you please share your experience so that people know that you are the expert? <laughs> no, I'm not the expert. <laughs> no, like expert just rate. share your ex yeah. I mean, ex by expert, mm -hmm. I mean expert rate. Oh, okay. And can you, apart from that, can you please share your experience like? Your work experience so far. My work experience. In, ah, that's no. In in summary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Starting from Nigeria before you moved down here and all that. In summary, so that yeah, we can get a glimpse of what we're talking about. I think so. For, I think so. In general, I think about jo a job in tech. I think usually people that get job jobs in tech leave out their statistics. Oh, the statistics not there. I wasn't really good in statistics in school, but I at least I knew the basics of statistics. And um, you should know that statistically, if you take a random ram, uh, random size or sample size and you evaluate it, you see that every other person or every almost everybody can become a software engineer. Mm -hmm. And that's good. Yeah, anybody can become at least front end, back end, to reasonable degree can pick up these technologies. But what really stand out is knowledge about the, the really specific domains. Okay. Example of the domain is maybe if you decide to go into software architecture, that's a domain. If you decide, to, that's what I call one a domain. If you decide to go into, you can call back end, back end, front end domain, or UX domain, or whatever. But the really complex ones that people don't take up, if you, if you take those things up, it's, it's usually the path of least resistance. And like another domain is just um, what people call DevOps or Dev, DevSecOps, however they call it. It's a domain that requires a lot of security. It's a domain. You're experienced, sir. I'm still getting, getting there. there. I'm getting there. Okay. Um, big data is a domain. Artificial intelligence or machine learning is a domain. So that said, my experience started from me looking. I think I started watching. I, I saw a Bloomberg News one time like that. That I think it was one strike. I just sat down and. There was this news, I think it was in 2013, that big data is the next big thing. And that was how I said that, okay, maybe everybody starts, is going to become a software engineer, but not everybody has heard this news to Bloomberg, and I said this. So I decided to make that the route I wanted to go. That was as I went, before you started working, or you already started working? That was 2014. I was, already, I, was in, I was about to go for NYSE. Oh, okay. So that was when I made the decision, that was about 2014, 20, late 2013, 2014. That was when I made the decision that I think big data is something I want, I want to delve into. Okay. Which, at that point, looked like, oh, not everybody's into this, who is going to do this, who is this, it's not even a topic in Nigeria currently. 
but I started learning. I think that's how it started. Then um, NYC time, I could write speech with a reasonable degree, which almost every software engineer can do. Um, I think I got my first job almost out of NYC. Yeah. And um, like, as a software engineer, but I was I didn't like the at first I didn't like it because I felt oh they hired me to do data data something about data, and I got to be doing PHP, yeah not software but PHP but which I wasn't really interested. So I I think I had a conversation with the city or Gawas or even before then, my line manager called me one day and said that um, that everybody is everybody is delivering. I'm the only one not delivering that. If something does not happen, that it will like it, that if I don't buckle up, something will happen. Drastic. I'm like, okay, fine. I'm not getting this. So I have to call the city like, oh God, what's up? This is why you hired me. What's the change? You know, if you like that because this one, that one, and this one, and that one, that I have to I say, okay, no problem. And then all of a sudden, I decided that this is what I have to live with. This is what I have to do. I decided to pick it up. Okay. And it just went like that, like that, and I got another opportunity somewhere else to come and do data science engineer. That was probably some weird name, but, but, but basically that. Then I spent about one year, my first one, one year, five months, the second one. And while I'm the second one, let me play my beard, and I see you. Oh, sorry, you are on camera, me. And now it's my swag, like, you brought me as Oh, yeah, guest. continue. So, one year, one year, I can't remember. One year plus. One Almost year plus. One and a half. One and a half. And the second one, then I got an offer. I started, that was when I got tired and things were not going in the right direction as I thought anymore. Uh, at the second job again. At the second job again, I got tired. I got bored, not necessarily tired. I just got bored. And then I tried, started looking for opportunities outside. And this is where a lot of people miss it. So I think that looking for opportunities, you have to put yourself out there. So. When people start feeling this discomfort, you need to start putting yourself out there as a software engineer. You learn, you learn every day. You learn new things. You learn different things. You learn. Not necessarily software engineer, just any anyone in tech or IT. Mm. You learn things new, new things every day. Start putting yourself out there. Um, the part where people feel is people feel scared when it comes to oh, what am I going to put out there? Won't someone criticize my knowledge? Who cares? I think you should welcome the criticism and that gets, makes you better and that's how I started so I, I think I started writing writing a couple of things on LinkedIn then I, I was really active in reaching out to people in fact I think I had a colleague back then we were looking at our LinkedIn profile no not LinkedIn profile LinkedIn connections and we saw people from where we came from and we're like all these people have not helped us since and we're adding them as I'm not adding anybody that is from this place on my LinkedIn profile for the next six months. I need new people that can help me. So that was at the point you were looking for international opportunities. Yes. Okay. So tip. Connection. Um also, well, well, uh, well, there's a way Bible put it to change your change your connection. But if you look if you look at uh, the story of the bad steward where he said yeah, the master said, Ah you have been spending all my money. He said, I will now go to all my Masters, uh, people that are owing my master and negotiate, renegotiate with them, so you leverage connection, yeah. and that's that's really important. You have to leverage connection through LinkedIn, through Stack Overflow, through things like Meet that. Meetups, meetups if you can. But if you are looking for international opportunity, you might not be able to attend an international meetup Meet from mm -hmm. where you are. But um, I think start putting yourself out there. Let people start hearing about what you're doing, even if it's as little as. 200, 250 words per blog post, but you have a lot of things you can offer that people don't really know about. In general, you know, it's and the flip side is that people don't necessarily need to know that you need to learn something new from you. They just need to, you want to know that you have an okay. idea and you have a problem, you solve the problem that might be valuable to them. I think that was what I reached. I think when I when, there was a day I was looking back at my LinkedIn reach out that I re sent me messages, people, I'm looking for opportunity outside. It was when I got issued that they would not, they could not sponsor my visa, blah 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 blah. All of a sudden, somehow, some one came up. So where I am currently, they are a really good place. Number two is that once you start putting yourself out there, be ready to take, bring out the sequel to reap. So don't hold back and say, ah, um, I want to wait till my mommy or my daddy or my family members can agree that I can travel. Just when the opportunity comes, take it. Okay. And once you take it, don't limit yourself to. 
that has oh I've moved and I'm now settling. Happy to be here syndrome. Happy to be here syndrome. <laughs> we had that yesterday. So please still keep putting yourself out there. Keep learning new things. Keep um, I think and have a have a have a have a have a positive mindset. Positive mindset. Yeah. 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 What everybody? What what do you want to be? What do you, what do you want to be known for in five years? Then five years from now, asking everybody saying I want to be known as I said something totally different from what everybody else saying. Said when it comes to Africa, if they are mentioning the top ten people about what they know about this, I want my name to be there. Wow! And everybody looks at me like this guy that does not even that does not even know software engineering. I still learn. <laughs> but then. Um, it's interesting to see that different things have come my way just because people look at my profile and say, "Wow, this guy! It's as if this guy knows his stuff." And I'm still learning. In mm -hmm. fact, I spend more time learning than uh, more time than more time learning. It's uh, something like that. Mm. So, from what I've heard you say, firstly, um, reach out to people. No, no, no. Firstly, put yourself out there. Put no. yourself out there. Yeah, reach out to people. Put, mm. Oh, firstly, put yourself out there. Yeah. Then start reaching out to people. Yes. So you put yourself out there. Right. People will find you and reach out to you. You also reach out to people. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now I get. Okay. So, uh, which one would you say? Apart right now, do you think that there are still jobs for people from outside Nigeria? And even people that even study here and are uh, looking to work. So that, that's that's an excellent question. So I think that um, people have not evolved with the way and how to get jobs have uh, changed. So in the past, I think the traditional way we used to think about it was, oh, I become a model of school, I start submitting my CV, and people will start people will start calling me, and people come up with different things. Like, ah, there's an algorithm is filtering names. Based on my guy, anybody listening to me. Which are people say it to? What do say? Bag B, Bag B, leave that one. Anybody listening, if you know you're right, Bag B means forget, forget. forget. My name is Olale Konfuad Election. There is no English there at all. There's no, there's no way to put English inside it. In fact, when people say, ah, you, sometimes they say names. My name, my, my name, my Fuad, I like to, it's an Arabic name. But I prefer to say it's. It's an English name. I don't say it's an English name. But and I've, I've gone to visa applications, I've gone to all those things, and I don't, I, by the grace of God, I've not had issues with that. Come on, so it is life, you know what to do. And, uh, and um, when it comes to job applications, too, I don't think that that is, I, I've, not, I, I've not seen that as a problem. People put up different things because they don't make excuses. HR people say Let this me thing. tell you, let calm down, let calm down. HR people are saying what they think they say. When was the HR person, what was the last person person did? Anything new on HR? When was the last person? The person sat with people designing these, uh, these systems. It's possible. I'm not saying it's not possible. But then, if you are, if that is the only thing you bank on to get a job, you will wait for a very long time. That's why you need to put yourself out there, number one. And what I was saying, to, not to digress from the thoughts, yeah. is that people still are still stuck in the fact that it's submitting the CV and waiting till someone reach, reaches out to you. Definitely, that that works for some people, but it has evolved. You need to put yourself out there. The it's not HR now. There are people that are technical recruiters. They are different from HR. Mm, true. They are looking for something else. If and they want to reach out to you. HR. If you are talking about H, technical recruiters, are not uh, HR. Let me just be sending me the CV. They do background check. Yeah. They check if you are if you are if you are into software engineering or all this. They check your GitHub repository. They check your they, if you have slide share. They check your slide share. They check your LinkedIn. They check your post. They go through lots and lots of things. I think LinkedIn has something on the back end where they, they just rec technical recruiters pay for recruiters pay for. They analyze your post and rank a couple of things. How you rank with other stuff people in the community. Mm. Don't dull. It's not by CV. Technical recruiters on, on so online on the, on the, on the, in the digital space, excuse me, don't look in, only at CV. They look at th things that you're involved in. They check your stack overflow. In fact, they check your stack overflow. There was one, there was one question, but I, I answered on stack overflow. You, I think he ranked me top in people. In, but it was just one question. I didn't have that one question. I was still getting votes. Over, I received over 2,000 votes on, I think, 2,000, 2000 points. It's been over two years now. Yeah, and it's still, people still rank, people still score it. But then, 
people technical recruiters are not HR. Mm. Technical recruiters are they check almost everything. They check if you have medium, they check your medium uh, uh, posts. If you have blogging website, they check your blog. Social they check media. your Twitter. They check every everything that you talk you talk about. So is so. I believe the my name is. Uh, I mean, I don't have English name, and I'm, I'm, my name is consistent. Yeah, I don't lie about it. Ola Lekon for election. Anywhere I'm talking, or uh, you see, if you check for election, Ola Lekon, you probably see two. But if you check for Ola Lekon for election, it's one. So, so the, I, I don't think all those things work. I think people are still stuck in the fact that technical recruiters. Some of them are can be interestingly technical, and they look for technical things, not um, your name. So you are saying that we should. Even with the knowledge, even with the school knowledge that we have, we still have to work on ourselves. We still have to um, evolve and learn new things and put it out there so that people can see that um, we are learning and we are growing, right? Yes, and to add to that is knowledge in school is just knowledge in school. Except your uh, knowledge in school is valid outside, it's definitely valid. But you cannot stay on knowledge in school and say I'm applying with knowledge in school. Mm. Um, this is because if you look at Stanford, some of their most of their courses are free, available online. So mm -hmm. what are you doing? Mm -hmm. If you have uh, those courses available, not necessarily, not even going to Coursera now. Um, just going to Stanford University website and looking at their curriculum. They have their courses in video, in videos, and whatever you can, whatever uh, you know, the assignments, they are in PDFs and all these things. Yeah. Their classes. What what are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Why can't you look at that? I think there was a time I sat with a couple of people and they were asking me questions and they said and the way you explain algorithms is, 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 is not because I studied it in-depthly in school where like maybe I did a couple, I understood a couple of things like that but I just decided to take time to know these things because people will ask questions and those are the things that people, technical recruiters, if they are looking for people, someone that is really sound in, in software engineering, those are the kind of questions they ask you. They ask you I think there was one time we were talking about data structures, B trees, and all these interesting things. And people were like, you know all these things. And there was one time we were talking about statistics, uh, uh, statistical significance, ANOVA, what are all these statistics that people didn't like in university. Not that I liked it, but I had to go back to study it. Mm -hmm. So you cannot rely on my, my CV. You have to keep evolving. Now I'm, I'm, I'm what's the thing called? I'm studying economics. I have background in software engineering, and mathematics, also computer science, but now I'm studying economics online by myself. By myself, to know consumer theory, not because I just it's because knowledge is available. You have to ex, you have to you have to stretch. Bible says that lengthen your cords, yeah, expand your tents or sticks. Do, Do not hold back. Not hold back. It's not going to tear. Yeah. And he said when you lengthen it, you are going to break forth on the right, yeah. on the left. Right. But it's those those you can't. It's not possible. You people people look at different dimensions, and once you internalize, you take all those knowledge. Also, give back. How to the community? Just write. Right and share knowledge. And share knowledge. Me now, I'm still struggling to start my own YouTube channel. Where I want to do technical videos. Please, if you're interested in mentorship, you can see no, that no, no, man no, is not, not the loaded. mentorship. But I'm, I want to do technical videos. But I've, this one I've been measuring since December last the year. The man is loaded, but we are, we are praying. So it's not it don't you cannot is it, it, HR is is way back all those HR now people have tech, people have recruiters for specific domains in technology. Hmm. So put yourself out there, connect and keep learning, keep um, evolving. No, yeah, those ones. But see, so if you are starting from the scratch, let's assume you are get you're just getting out of university. Yeah. The starting point is go as broad as you can be. And as a pyramid, but you know it could be overwhelming. It's not. It's that's that's that's. I don't agree with that. It's not at all. It's not overwhelming. There's nothing about. What are you doing with your head? Hmm. What are you doing with? What are you in your in? Uh, what are you doing with seven hours of sleep in a day? That's why I say, people that want to grow, that want to go in this direction, you have to be strategic about your career. You cannot do every, what everybody is doing. You cannot say ah because uh, can you come, can you People are saying yeah, it's, oh, nothing is overwhelming. Yeah, human being. It can, what cannot kill you will only make you stronger. I think I've said it all. Um, pick every anyone that works for you, but take it from me that this is this will work. One last question: advice to someone who has tried and maybe it's not getting, it's not looking 
Oga, let me tell you something. Oga means boss. Keep trying. I sent people messages on LinkedIn that when I was looking for a job back then for more than six months. So keep trying. You cannot do something and say you drop it. I, I, can, I sent over 100 messages to different people mm. stating that I'm looking for a opportunity. I have this, I have that. And people will say no. People say they're not, uh, they're not interested. People say, uh, there's, in fact, some people that were even in Nigeria together, in the same church, be telling me that they have some. Seen, people are supposed to help. Hmm. Don't shake this table. I will shake it. Don't shake it. Maybe, maybe there was somebody that reached out to me. And my, when I said I applied to uh, where I'm working currently from Nigeria, I tried to push for it, That's but awesome. I tried to push, I tried to push, but it turned out that his experience was not enough. Okay. People that were in the same church together could not uh, say something. Now. Um, I, don't let me bring that one up. Don't bring this table here. <laughs> that one, I will shake that table next time. Next time, not today. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much for no. all the insights shared. I hope you've been able to pick one or two things from these videos, this series. So it's going to it's now in three parts. The first one I did, then two of this. Mm. Thank you so much um, for coming. We are grateful. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be doing more fun videos, not every time serious, serious camera. I'm, I'm not always this serious person. Yeah. So, thank you very much, everyone, for sticking with us. Yeah. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll, send an honorarium. <laughs> I'll be sharing. I'll be sending <laughs> this video to anyone who asks me because I always get um I always get DMs about people yeah, asking. It's link for honorarium, Mandalay. Link for honorarium. You yeah. want? You have people that you No, no, no. They have to send it. Anyone that is interested in getting a job in Germany, I'm going to be sending you this video so that you can watch and learn, you know. Well, basically because of the fact that here in Berlin is more of stats and um, more of tech jobs here. Yeah, and the, the world is actually going digital. Everything is going digital, really. So I'm sure that it's going to be helpful to, to a lot of people. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please remember to drop comments in the comment section looking forward to your questions and if you like if you're interested in more tech stuff like this the man is loaded you're supposed to start youtube channel we are praying and trusting that god will reveal himself to him one day amen amen mentorship too i feel that is he can is even capable of it. i'm putting i'm blasting you mentorship mentor mentor Mentorship. Mentor. Mentor. Mentoring. Let's say mentor. mentorship. Mentorship. I'm mentor. Mentor. I'm saying mentorship. Say mentor. Mentor. Mentorship. Mentorship. Okay, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, if I just said in mentoring you, just come through me, through me. It's right. Three people who organize like a Zoom um, call or something, maybe on a weekly basis for one month or something. It might come at a, at a price because time is money. Time is expensive. Yes, this guy has to at least. Be, uh, no, 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 no. His experience. Yes. Let me not continue rambling. <laughs> We've come to. I'm going to watch today. Manchester United. Everything played Manchester United. I'm really pissed at the on social. At least it's one one. They've no lose like that. So thank you for watching. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment. Please now drop comments. Let's interact in the comment section. I'm looking forward to it. Please um, drop a comment. Yep. Subscribe. Share with questions. people. Yes, please share with people that you feel that this is gonna help you. Yeah, yeah. And if you ask questions, if your questions are in line with where can you find those jobs, we can definitely organize another session where yeah. we can mention a couple of sites that you can find, those find jobs. them. But starting point is strategy. Alright. Alright. See you on our next video. Bye.